Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, good morning, everybody. The showers continue to inch closer to exiting our entire viewing area. Here they are right now uh, over into far eastern parts of the state. You'll look here and there is not much left on the radar. Parts of Morgan, parts of Elliott, McGoffin, Wolf County over into Johnson. Uh, again, this is moving out really quick. All right, the majority of the area is dry and these showers will keep moving east relatively quickly in the next hour. They'll likely be out of our own higher coverage area at that point. Temperatures for you this morning, mainly running in the 50s. Just a unseasonably warm day or morning and unseasonably warm afternoon ahead. 47 in Frankfurt and 46 in Danville this morning. Let me widen out the view and just show you how quickly on our six hour radar loop, how these showers have worked through the state. Uh, not everybody's seen them. Obviously, they've been very scattered behind that, though. The sky has already started to clear right back out by eight o'clock. If you look, there's a blip or two of green. The future radar tries to show that still continuing till maybe eight, maybe eight fifteen. But really, it's moving out into the afternoon. Mostly sunny could turn partly cloudy late. I do expect clouds to thicken up as we head into tonight with some scattered showers possible, primarily after midnight. And they'll be just that scattered. It won't be a washout tonight at all either. So those morning showers are quickly fading out here, turning mostly sunny and breezy today. Look at these temperatures, low 70s. We could do better than 71. Anytime we can usually get a gusty south southwest wind here in the city, really across the entire area, we warm up in a big way. Chance for showers, maybe a clap or two of thunder, late mild breezy into the mid and upper 50s. Look at the highs across the area today. Uh, again, just way up there to right around 70 degrees for everybody. Now, the next big thing is this sharp cold front, strong cold front that starts sweeping through here on Wednesday. With that cold front, it is going to be bringing in rain and some storms. Could see a strong thunderstorm or two. Uh, severe weather potential low. And we're not even under a risk from the Storm Prediction Center any longer. Doesn't mean that we couldn't see that added back, but the risk is there for a stronger storm. Then the temperatures really crash on Wednesday. In the afternoon on Wednesday, by about 3, 4 o'clock, many of us are seeing temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Huge drop from temperatures in the 60s early on. And then once that front sweeps through, we drop about 20 degrees in a matter of a couple of hours. We're in the 40s for highs on Thursday, much cooler there. Scattered showers on Friday, low 50s here, low 60s on Saturday with maybe a spotty shower in the morning, but Saturday's not bad. And then Sunday back up near 70 degrees, Krista.